pregnancy and postnatal fitness specialist. And here with me today is Victoria, who is 28 weeks pregnant uh, and into her third trimester. So today I'm going to show you with Victoria the core connection breath, which is so important. It really helps connect to your core muscles, strengthen them, particularly your transverse abdominis, which wraps right around your midsection. And that is the one that you want to get strong because it helps push your baby out and helps you with the birth. It also helps with your posture, release any aches and pains, and everybody wants a strong core. So this is the foundation. And if we get the breathing right, it really helps you to connect to your core and the muscles of your core. And then you can effectively train them. So we're going to start, we're seated actually here on a couple of yoga blocks. So um, these are yoga blocks. Victoria sat on two, and that's just to get her hips up level with her knees. I'm sat on one. If you don't have any yoga blocks, then you can just as easily use a couple of uh, thick books or a lot of magazines and just place them underneath your glutes, underneath your bottom. Okay, and that just means that your hips are up then level with your knees and it makes being in a seated position, cross-legged, more comfortable. We're going to place one hand just on the ribcage here and one hand on the belly or on the baby. Now, I want you to imagine you're putting an umbrella up. Okay, we're going to breathe in through the nose to expand the ribcage laterally and really make sure we're using our diaphragm muscles. Imagine you're putting an umbrella up at the same time. We're then going to exhale through pursed lips, opening the mouth as if you're blowing out a candle. Really trying to get all the air, squeeze all the air out of the ribcage. Breathe in, into the ribcage, really expand, and then exhale. Allowing the ribs to sink. Breathe in. Imagine you're putting that umbrella up, and then exhale, bring the umbrella down. Breathe in, really expanding the ribcage, exhale. Really helps, breathe in. With any feelings of tension, any anxiety, really helps calm the mind and the body. Two more deep breaths, in through the nose, expanding that ribcage and exhale, out through the mouth. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna really try and connect to our core and also our pelvic floor. So back to the umbrella breathing, keeping the hand on the rib cage and the other hand on the belly button and the baby. We're gonna breathe in, just like we've done, and then we're gonna exhale, we're gonna draw the belly button back and try and gently lift up the pelvic floor muscle. Inhale, Expanding the ribcage, exhale, we're going to draw the belly button back towards our spine, lift up the pelvic floor, and then inhale. Exhale, now as you draw the belly button back, you've got slight tension here in the lower part of the belly button, and lifting up the pelvic floor, inhale. This really helps activate the pelvic floor muscle at the same time Really activate the deep abdominal muscle together with the pelvic floor. So you inhale. And remember, you're activating that pelvic floor muscle, lifting it up and drawing the belly button back on the out breath, on the exhale. Breathing in. Drawing the belly button back towards the spine, lifting up that pelvic floor. Inhale. Exhale. With the pelvic floor, imagine you're lifting a tissue out of a box. You're trying to squeeze the front passage and your back passage up, but just gently. Breathing in, relax the belly button forward, and then exhale, lifting up the pelvic floor and drawing the belly button back to connect to the entire system, the core and the pelvic floor. Breathing in, exhale. Release. And you want to be doing this exercise for about eight to 10 breaths, or for a minute or so, daily, and you'll really notice a difference. You'll really connect to the pelvic floor, connect to the deep transverse abdominus muscles. It will also help release any backache and release any tension. 